There are several similarities and differences between diagnosing angina pectoris and a myocardial infarction. Similarities Both conditions start with assessing the patient's chest pain, including when it began, what it feels like, how long it lasts, and what triggers it. The nurse reviews major cardiovascular risk factors such as high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, smoking, and family history. Vital signs are checked in both cases. A 12-lead ECG is done to look for signs of reduced blood flow to the heart. Blood tests, including troponin, are ordered for both conditions. Additional investigations, such as stress tests, echocardiograms, or coronary imaging, may also be used in each case. Key Diagnostic Investigations and Their Findings 1. Troponin Levels Angina, normal because there is no myocardial injury, MI, elevated indicating heart muscle damage, 2. 12-lead ECG, angina, temporary ST depression or T-wave inversion that resolves when the pain stops, MI, ST elevation in STEMI, or ongoing ST depression slash T-wave inversion in NSTEMI, 3. Stress testing, angina, chest pain, and temporary ischemic ECG changes appear during exercise but resolve afterward with no troponin elevation. MI not performed during an acute event because it could worsen damage. 4. Echocardiogram. Angina, usually normal at rest, may show temporary wall motion changes during stress. MI, shows reduced movement of the affected heart wall due to permanent damage. 5. Coronary angiography, cardiac catheterization. Angina, shows narrowed coronary arteries but not complete blockage. MI, often shows a fully blocked coronary artery at the site of the ruptured plaque. In summary, angina shows normal troponin levels, temporary ECG changes, and reversible ischemia on testing with no permanent damage. A myocardial infarction shows elevated troponin, persistent ECG changes, evidence of permanent heart damage, and usually a blocked coronary artery on imaging.